right? So here's a little uh, preview for my online accelerator program and bringing you, you here an insider's topic that will take your tennis game to the next level. If concepts like this resonate with you, I'd like you to like and subscribe. In fact, why don't you hit that like and subscribe button right now. Let's get right into the video. Second thing I want to talk about, again, you can put the racket down for this one, and it's called learning how to breathe properly. And, you know, we talk about, okay, breathing, yeah, you don't want to hold your breath because your body needs oxygen to flow to its muscles, right? But funny enough, they would used to call it, if you've ever called someone a choker, someone who screws, who, who can never finish points in big moments, a lot of times it's because they're holding their breath and then they're hitting ah, they're hitting because naturally when we get tight and nervous we, we don't breathe properly we don't we're not relaxed we, our our breath doesn't come to a normal right we start holding our breath in whether it's fear or anxiety or what have you and changing your breath actually changes your body chemistry and how you breathe helps c control your flow of energy right so like if i was a power lifter on the bench press i might need a uh, uh, right to get that weight up but in tennis because we're using the kinetic chain in a very fluid way we want to get more fluid power and be able to use all the muscle groups and culminate in one spot right like we talked about in this whole theme this whole theme is a kinetic chain right so what a lot of players do is they don't they're not aware of their breath but they're not aware of how they're breathing so a quick breath like uh, right will typically produce a quick and jerky stroke whereas a long breath mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, will, will lengthen your stroke extend your stroke and you can feel your energy move with your breath and so part of technique is breathing properly because if you're breathing abruptly your technique is going to be abrupt how can you create a very fluid kinetic chain okay so you want to breathe in through what's called your diaphragm. So there's a difference between, and they talk about this in singing, if you've ever taken vocal lessons, and I'm no vocalist, I don't have a great voice by any means, but it's the same concept from singing to when you're doing athletics, and they pretty much talk about this in every sport. But there's diaphragmic breathing versus chest breathing. And chest breathing is when the chest cavity lifts as I breathe. You can see my chest coming up. Now the chest, chest breathing, the chest is a much smaller cavity and it actually doesn't allow you to, to get the full flow of air into your lungs. What should actually happen is put your head on your stomach right now. Dia diaphragmic breathing is when your stomach expands when you breathe in and your stomach falls to rest as you breathe out. So, As I breathe out, my stomach is falling in. And diaphragmic breathing, that's what you actually want. And to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. <sighs> but it's a much deeper breath that centers you and centers your strokes. And so especially if you're feeling nervous or if you feel like your, your strokes are getting tight and too overly compact because you're not elongating your strokes, elongate your breath and it's gonna help your strokes flow equally as well because your breathing and your body are very, very connected, okay? And so, it's great to do in the warm-up when you're hitting on both sides, uh, and that's why people love to grunt because it helps them breathe. Now, obviously you wanna have a longer breath instead of a eh sound versus a deep uh sound, okay? So play around with it on your serve. We might do a, you know, a few demos with it as well in the next section, okay? So, focus on that breathing. It's a very big part of tennis also to prevent you from choking which is you know kind of the pun on that not breathing is choking is the opposite of not breathing obviously okay so i am being a little bit humorous here you know you don't necessarily have to always grunt or make loud noises but definitely in terms of helping you move your energy it's a great way it's a great way to help you feel the flow and relax um, and it's also a great timing mechanism as well all right, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching this preview video. 
I want to see you in the members area to start. We have a free private session. Click on that link below. I'll take you to my website right now.